18 days after rescue. The condition of a kitten that is weak worsens. It moves so slowly. Food intake is becoming less and less. Too small compared to others. Too weak to stand on its own feet. Each hour, it becomes weaker and weaker. until it is not taking food anymore. Me? I keep my patience in the hope that the kitten will take fluids to rehydrate. Me? Hours have passed, but its condition has not improved. I just thought the kittens were only sleeping to recover and heal. But the kitten passed away too soon. I feel so sad. I feel very very sad. I was so attached to all these kittens. And to be separated from any one of them is heartbreaking. It's my first time helping kittens, which are newly born. Many have told me that it is too difficult to handle. But I took the challenge because I truly cared for this little, poor creature. But this heartbreaking experience made me wonder if I would do it again. I admit, this experience taught me so many lessons in life. Because of them, I understand better what the life of an orphan and those babies who grew up away from their parents was like. And that is me. My father died when I was two years old, and I grew up away from my mother. That same day, the two kittens were in good condition. I don't know if they already have an idea that their sibling has passed away. But something strange happened that night. The other kitten became so weak. It was a sudden change. It was in the middle of the night that this kitten passed away. It follows its sibling. It was a very sad moment. And a sad moment for the remaining kitten, I'm sure of that. I decided that this would be the last and final episode of the life story of three times. The remaining kittens vlog will be published as a podcast on this channel. I hope you will still follow. The podcast title will be Vivo, The Survivor. See you. Thank you very much. <laughs>